in the time before the Titans, before the gods of Olympus, a great battle was waged. The wrath of the primordials. The very beings who forged the earth. Raged out of control for an eternity. And from this rage, this madness of war, the Furies were brought forth. Neither Titan nor God, mortal nor shade, the Furies were bound to no one. For they were the guardians of honor, the enforcers of punishment, the bane of traitors. When Zeus came to power, he found he had little to fear from the sisters. The Furies sought retribution only for those whom they deemed guilty. The first of these traitors was Aegean the Hecatonchores. When the brute pledged a blood oath to Zeus, only to later betray the king of the gods, the Furies were quick to take action. The sisters relentlessly hunted the Aegean, and upon capturing the creature, tortured him without mercy. For the Furies believed death was too kind for this oathbreaker. The Aegean the Hecatonchores became an example to all. A special symbol for those who might think to break a blood oath with a god. Hey everybody, my name is Airbag7 and welcome to my walkthrough of God of War Ascension for the PlayStation 3. And I gotta say I'm pretty excited to play this game. I'm a real hardcore fan of the series, got all the other God of War games, completed all of them in the highest difficulty setting. And yeah, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen to Kratos this time around. So since the is part one of my walkthrough, it will be really awesome. If you guys could like the video and add it to your favorites, I really appreciate that. So this first part will get the best rating possible. Uh, I also want to mention I'm not going to talk during cutscenes because I'm enjoying the game for the first time and I want you to enjoy the story the best way possible. So um, yeah, let's jump right into this guys. Okay, single player, I already created a profile, so here we go. New game and I'm going to play in normal since this is my first run. Okay, we go guys. Kratos, the great Spartan general, was finally defeated. Driven mad, Tortured and uncertain of his surroundings, the warrior found himself captured like a fly in the web of the fuels. Never, never again. What's wrong? You seem confused, Kratos. 
Having trouble remembering our special time together? But then again, we were rudely interrupted by my sister. Electro was never one for manners. Not to worry. I am quite skilled at teaching RESPECT! Okay, here we go, guys. We're finally controlling what Kratos. I owe you that. Is that the best? All right, <laughs> here we go. Really awesome. Oh, and we already got our first trophy. Okay, we're controlling Kratos. Really, yeah, that was really a, a great intro right there. So far, the control seems pretty much the same as all the other God of War games. Well, I can see there's a meter right here in the corner. It seems kind of different than the other ones we saw before. Here we go. So yeah, this is one of the Furies. I guess she's called Megara. And there's another one called Electo. The third one, I still don't know what's her name, but I guess we'll find out during the walkthrough. Here we go. Try as you might, you will never catch me. And we can actually grab enemies now with the R1 button it seems. Okay. So there are still uh, there are some differences indeed. Okay, and we can also run using the L3 button and make... Yeah. Alright. Here we go. And... Oh. We got a record from the Skyba of Ekatonkaris. Okay. Every night they come into my cell. It is unspeakable what they do. Megaris, parasites. I cannot rid myself of them. Hmm. Alright. And here we go. So yeah, the animation to destroy this red orb chest uh, is also different, it seems. Okay, let's keep moving. The... What the... <laughs> Okay, so that parasite, that parasite just controlled that guy. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho! <laughs> Here we go, guys. So, here we go. I'm throwing this guy. Really like the way that they changed the grab system, you know, with the R1 button. Oh, I got the Rage Meter full. Mm, and we unlock... Yeah. We unleash new powers when we have the meter full. Alright. Oh, let's use the Air 1 button. Alright, here we go. So it seems that most of the actions that were assigned with the circle button in previous games now is a, a, a day, those actions are assigned to the air one button. 
And... Oh, there's still one guy. Whoa. Okay, so by using the kick, you can actually disarm the enemies. And I guess you can grab their weapons. Let me see. Whoa, whoa, okay. And we got another trophy. Come on, man. There we go. I'm trying to grab their, their weapons. But no problem. Let's just feed them instead. Yeah, I got the weapon. Alright. I got their sword and... It seems we can use, yeah, a special discard. Alright. Oh, right, nice. Here we go. Alright, and it seems that when the enemies are stunned, you can also grab them, uh, well, with the air one button, even if you're really far away from them, so it's really great. Okay, and another record from the Ekatonkeris. An oath to the gods is too easily sworn and not so easily broken. The Furies see only their version of right and wrong. Okay. Let's get more red orbs. And actually, let me see. Yeah, we got here the Blade of Chaos. And what we need to evolve it, we need... We need 3,000 orbs. All right. So let's keep moving. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the int messages for now. You will see how we treat oathbreakers here. Okay, I got another sword like before. All right. So it seems that Megaris minions are always gonna be these parasites beings, yeah. There we go, we got the rage meter full. Alright. Yes. Okay. Got this one. It is time for you to meet your death. Oh, so, so we're actually on top of the Ekatonkaris. You know the guy we saw in the very first cutscene? That titan with all those harms, you know? So they made, they tortured the Ekatonkaris and made a prison out of him. That's just nuts. We will see how you fare against the Ekatonkaris. What a what an ugly guy, but <laughs> man. Okay, so it seems we have the first boss. Alright, here we go. So far, so good. Really loving this first boss fight. Whoa, whoa. Man, he got me.
Okay, and it seems we're gonna have a quick time event right here. All oh, right. And another square. All oh, right. Nice. Look at the scale. I, uh, this is one of the things I really love in God of War games. The scale of things. Make, make Kratos look really vulnerable, you know, even if he's really powerful. And yeah, to, to avoid the attacks of the Ekatonkaris right here, it seems you need to get here. You see? Okay. Whoa, whoa. Oh man, he got me. Come on. Come on, Kratos. There we go. Yes, I got the rage meter full once again. Oh, come on. I guess we're almost done here. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh, all right. Come on, man. <laughs> this is not gonna hurt. I just wanna kill you. <laughs> okay. Almost there. I hope so. Yes. All right. Let's grab this guy once again. There we go. Nice. And yeah. We're gonna get him. He's dead. <laughs> Look at whoa. Really loving these animations. You cannot defeat us. Three trophies in a row. Whoa, and look at this, guys. So um, it seems they they got this back from Ghost of Sparta, if I recall. Yeah. Whoa, that. Whoa, and it's okay. We still we're still steering here. All right, here we go. Come on, Kratos. Oh, man. All right. Nice. Oh, that fight was really intense. Great way to start the game. And, well, there's another record here. Yep. Okay, the Fury Queen Sun entered the world this night. Is it the prophecies marked one? How can one so newly made be seen as such a failure by his father? Hmm. Don't know what this is, but yeah. Um, the, so really loving the fact that they they keep making the appearance of all these record stuff, you know, like they did in the in God of War 3 in the in the 80s part of the game when we were in L, you know. Really loving that, and here we go. Yeah. Man, she keeps running away. The, uh, oh man! But look at the scale. We're really on top of the guy. We're, they made the Ekantonkeris a prison. That's that's just yeah. It's really impressive. How what the power of the Fury is. I, I don't know if they can do that with a Titan. Uh, I I can't even imagine what they can do with a mortal. <laughs> and one of the prisoners, yeah, <laughs> the guy just fell. All right, and here we go. Okay, we got a green chest right there, but I'm gonna leave it. Wait a second. Yeah, it seems I can't open this yet. So let's just get these guys right here. Nope, we can't do anything yet. Here. Oh, there's the switch. All right, let me just get uh, the red orbs. Destroy some. Oh, there's something else here. 
Yeah, it's another red chest, a red chest orb. All right. Um, and let's interact with this. See what happens. And more of these guys. Okay. Whoa, and we can actually grab the guys in the air like that using the air one button. And we keep, <laughs> we can continue how many times we want. Really awesome. Let's kill this one. All right. So far the gameplay is pretty much the same, apart from the difference they made by changing the circle button to the R1 button for most of the gravel things, you know. And now we have this rage meter which is kinda different from the previous ones like uh, the Rage of Olympus, Rage of the Titan, you know, all this kind of stuff. And yeah, also the, way, the, the fact that you can grab enemies really far away now. It's really, really great. Okay, we got them. Wait a second, let me see if there's something... Oh, there's actually something! What is it? Prisoners of Stone. Hmm... So, I guess this might be like the artifacts we had in God of War 3, you know? Each god had like one of art, one artifact that kind of ga gave you some extra powers when you go for a new game. Yeah, I guess that's... Yeah, this thing gotta be like one of those artifacts. Anyway, let's keep moving, guys. Let's open the door here. Alright. Can't wait to see what happens in this game. Okay. Nice, we're done here. Okay. Whoa. So I'm slowing down here. Maybe there's gonna be a cutscene, I don't know. Whoa, so... Really love the camera angle. So yeah, all these guys must be prisoners to the Furies. They must have break some promises and oaths and... Oh, more of these guys? No, you gotta be kidding. Oh yeah, we're gonna fight them. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be it. Oh man. So as you see, the Ecotonkeris is moving. This kind of cells, this kind of prison cells. And yeah, the guys are here, they're back. Oh man. Oh no, 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 no. Come on. Here we go. Nice. All right. Okay, got all of them, I think. Yeah. Oh no, more of, yeah, oh more of them, alright. Okay. And yeah, this gotta be the last one. Yeah. And maybe there's gonna be another round. Yeah, more of them. Oh, they keep they keep spawning. Let's kick them and see if I can get one of their swords. Yes, I got it, and I made a special move with it. There we go. Nice. 
Whoa. Almost there, and yeah. Okay, let's defeat this last one. And you're done. Alright. Look, look, just look at the scale, man. Whoa, whoa. Okay, it's time to move out. The guard house. Alright. Look at all these arms, really impressive. And what do I got here? Another sword? Yeah, it seems so. Okay, I got the sword, let's move out. What? Okay, so we can pull this thing, but let's see what happens exactly. Mm, nothing happens, okay. Maybe we'll, we'll have to use it later on. And... Okay. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Uh okay, I have a green chest right here, but maybe I'm not gonna get it right away, because I don't know if we'll have to get back here. We'll see. I don't really need any L for now, I guess, so I'm good. Okay, let's grab this thing now. Oh no! <laughs> A cyclop, alright. Oh. Nope. Go. Yes! Okay, we got him. Yeah, we're gonna control him like we did in God of War 3. Nice. Really awesome. Let's kill all these parasitic minions of Megaras. Cause yeah, they're real they're really annoying. They puppy they popping up everywhere. Let go. Come on. That's it. Whoa, we got him. Okay. Oh, I see. So I guess we can get up there now and just grab this. Yeah, that's what I thought. Exactly. And we'll be able to get across the gap. Alright. Real love in the game so far. Awesome. Okay. And we got two, 2,500 orbs. Okay, I got my health full. So, we still can't evolve the Blades of Chaos. But I guess that... Yeah. I don't know if there's gonna be something else really soon. Maybe another boss or something. But usually, in all the God of War games, right by the beginning of the game, you, you're able to evolve the Blades of Chaos right away. I don't know, guys. Anyway, let's grab this. Glory be to Olympus. I am free. Oh no. <laughs> oh man, another of this Oh, <laughs> I killed the guy. Oh man. Okay, so it seems we're still gonna fight another of one of these. Oh man, okay. Okay, here we go, guys. So it's, it seems we're still gonna have another boss fight. Okay. Man, the guy, the guy has a lot of arms this time around, okay. 
gonna be kind of different, it seems. No! Oh man, he got me. Okay. Gotta figure out how to avoid that arm attack. No! Okay. And... Yep! Alright. So here we go for another quick time event. Okay, here we go. Yes. Alright. Let's keep moving. Oh, come on, man. Don't run away. Oh! These bugs once again. Alright. So I'm gonna throw them and use them like they were grenades, you know? See if this can make some extra damage to him. Whoa, whoa. Ah, he got me. Let's keep throwing them. Alright. Man, the guy is really... Yeah, he's really ugly, but... It kinda intimidates me, because... Yeah. I can't even imagine how a simple bug that just came out of Megara's... Well... <laughs> boobs... <laughs> just made this. this. This is horrible. Okay, here we go. And... Alright. Oh, and he's not done yet, alright. <laughs> so as you can see, we're almost with 3,000 hordes, so we're almost, yeah, we're almost close to evolving to the Blades of Chaos. I guess by the end of this fight, we shall be able to do that. Let's keep using the minions as grenades so far it seems that it's working we go come on man yes alright see what happens and we're gonna grab him once again so I guess we're gonna be able to kill him now. Yep. Go. Awesome. And you're dead. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna be dead. <laughs> yep, we really killed him. Whoa, that was really intense. Yeah, and as you can see, I got enough orbs to evolve the Blades of Chaos. I don't know if I'm gonna do it right away or in the beginning of the next episode, because... Yeah, I actually find that this is a good spot to end this first part of the walkthrough. And maybe... Yeah, I guess we're gonna end the episode right here and we're gonna move on in the next episode. Uh, so yeah guys, if you enjoyed this first part of the walkthrough, be sure to leave a like and add this video to your favorites. If you're new to the channel, you can always subscribe so you can stay updated about all the other uploads I will make of God of War Ascension. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of God of War Ascension. See you guys.